Good morning, fellow members of the Jig Squad. It is a beautiful morning. I went for a quick like four mile jog. Basically a bunch of influential YouTubers are out here to promote a good cause. I'm gonna harp on it later on in the next vlog, but basically for the next seven days, I'm going to be uploading every single day while I'm out here. We're gonna be doing challenges, we're gonna be doing pranks, we're gonna be cliff jumping, snorkeling, four wheeling, all kinds of adventures, hopefully going to some waterfalls. I'm really excited, I've never been to Hawaii before and I'm really excited to bring you guys along on the adventure. So come back every day over the next seven days because hopefully I'm gonna be uploading once a day. It's, it's vlogception. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of vlogceptions this trip with oh, everybody yeah. vlogging. There's like six people vlogging. We're gonna be those tourists that are walking down the beach with a bunch of vlog cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Is breakfast ready? Almost. All right, cool, let's go check it out. Got some hammocks, this is where I hung out first thing this morning. Check out uh, what time I woke up. That's a clip from this morning. All right, everybody's awake. <laughs> Update of, like, ahead. I'm in like the most amazing place I've probably ever seen. I slept over there. But yeah, this is what I woke up to. Oh, good job, Ansley, helping out. Of course. Wow. Well, We're staying in their house. Yeah. Right. More Jay Stew in the building. Yo. This is what she found this morning. You're crazy, Wait, right? She found that? Yeah. For the next seven days, I'm going to be vlogging right out of here. You got the king suite. Yeah, I do. I got that ocean front suite right there. It's going to be an amazing adventure, and you guys are going to join in on it. We got here last night, and it was basically a Hawaiian flash flood. I don't know how to put it other than that. Look, there's the other Jack. Here's a couple of clips from last night when we got here. Enjoy. All right, so I just landed. I'm kind of segueing around the airport. Waiting on Ansley because she's on a different flight, but I cannot complain. Right when I got off the plane, there was palm trees everywhere. Airport police told me that I couldn't ride my Segway. Fine. Only because I don't want to get arrested the first 10 minutes I've been in Hawaii. All right, so we made it. We found all of the other fellow YouTubers that are with us. We found Allison, and now we're getting food. Immediately yelled at for riding my Segway. Oh, yeah. But we're here, so that's what's important. If this is your car, and the yeah, the one in the middle is not. Yeah. Okay, got it. You're our adventure guide. We're supposed to follow you, right? All right, so it's raining. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's flash flooding in Hawaii. We're gonna have to surf it. Not even an hour into Hawaii and it is pouring. But I can't complain because it feels pretty good. Oh my gosh. This is a good way to start the trip though. Why not? Are the California people afraid of rain? Come on! Go! Quickly! Quickly! Come on! Oh! Run! Quick! Make the cross! They're going back! Why are they going back? Hey Keith, you got a little wet, bro. <laughs> welcome to Hawaii. Yeah, welcome to Hawaii. Flash flood the second we get here. Yeah, you guys were you guys bin. said you wanted to be cooled off. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah of course. Water bin. Private road, all right. So if you see any bugs, nothing will hurt you here except centipedes and scorpions, which I've never been stung my entire life living here, but you may see them. Is this your compound? You get out one of you and, and open the gate. Open the gate. You pull up the wood, uh -huh. and the left one comes towards me, and the other one goes in. Okay. Hey there. Good. How are you? This is amazing. All right, so we all officially made it. 
She can't hurt you. <laughs> I had to bring it up to grass yeah. Alright, so we got shown to our room. Not really a room because it's all open, but that's our bed. And hammocks in the morning, big yoga room. Basically the nicest place I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the definition of paradise. Fresh bananas every morning. Fires. So yeah, this is gonna be an amazing adventure. So glad you guys are along for the ride. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 This is the breakfast call. Yeah. You can play loud or don't play loud? Loud. Just play a good loud song. Alright Jack, you're out. Right. Dotan, Jenny, <laughs> Fallon, <laughs> Jack or Jackson, I've heard both. Either way. Um, Ansley, <laughs> Deborah, Allie, nope. Stevie, <laughs> Allie, there you go. Justin, Brittany, Tina, Paige, Keith, Allison, David, Bill, Susie. Susan. 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 Jack. Alright. Yeah. Woo! Oh Alright, so for everyone who's lost, we started with one name and then one, two, one, two, three. And we went in a giant circle so that everyone learned each other's names. I have one question. How long have you been building here? This and when did you 30 year project? 30 year project? 30 year. Well, not every day, but <laughs> we'd, leave, we'd leave for, for, for like six months, yeah. come back. Be on the floor, for, pass. Go to Bali yeah. for two months, come back, go to India. Oh. And you're saying pretty much everything here is natural resources, right? Everything. Well, about 90%. We're, we're, this house is about, this is about uh, um, 85 to 90% sustainable. We use gas for um, the oven primarily and with one inline hot water heater because we don't have solar on it right now. But everything else is. Off the environment, and that's what you know. When you, when you that's the best the part. It, it, it feels it, different, it, it, you know. And we found that nature is the best equalizer. It just brings people to an, uh, who they are, their essence, right? Because mm -hmm. your your reflections are off of purity and, and harmony. When you're in a city, as an example, things that come at you sometimes don't always represent balance. Like the news <laughs> might be imbalanced, or certain billboards might bring something to you that is really not necessarily what your core believes or feels, but it innovates Resonates you to where it starts to take us out of balance. Some, it can, you know, it's very subliminal, but over time it can make us start to think that's the way things are. But when mm -hmm. I'm out in nature day after day, I start to reach my own internal balance based on there's sun, there's trees, and everything works, everything feels right. And so the longer you're here um, and you're disconnected from some of those inputs, it really enables the person, for me at least, to really start to find my own inner balance. And I go, oh, I feel good. If I read the newspaper, sometimes I go, oh, I feel terrible, but it's not, <laughs> it's not necessarily yeah. a reality. Well, it's good to have compassion no, it's for what's good, happening well, around the world. It's compassion, but sure. if we all come from a place of knowing and feeling, then we're putting out that energy into the world. Mm. That's as important as mm. believing what you hear. It's like create what you want to have and then let it go out around you. And, and it seems to work. And so the longer you hear, you'll Was start to... Was that Gandhi? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's all universal <laughs> truths. There's nothing I'm making up. It's not new. It's just universal truths. And if you're around those truths, you can incorporate them into your being and it's just like works. You know? And surfing then. And most of you already do that. Most of you, you know, you're all creative. You're all, you're all awake. Most people who come here are already awake because you were drawn towards this place in the first place and being out in nature, doing the work you do. You're, 
you're on a computer or you're on a, uh, but most of you are truth seekers. You're awake. You're trying to see things that are out there and share it with people because something yeah, in your life woke you up. You, you yeah. know, you're not asleep. And maybe you're traveling, maybe you're going out. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all were at some point. Yeah. But you're, 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 you're looking for personal growth in whatever way you're doing it and sharing right. it with others. That's huge. So you're disseminate. We call those bridges. There's people who live here and there's people who go out and do this and you bridge that back, that world back to people who don't get to do what you do. And that's an important piece. You're called bridges. That's what I call you. You're a bridge from what's out there to what a lot of people don't get to experience. Can we be rainbow bridges? <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> so that was the prayer. You said there'd be no prayer. Yeah. Um, dude, you're on fire. <laughs>